Hello African Gold Growers, we are start in a minute, we are just waiting more people to connect uh, to this uh, master class and uh, well prepare your coffee, prepare your tea, uh, be comfortable, uh, prepare your notebook because it will be a very interesting session, we are going to talk about many many important things that are happening right now in all the world but in special in Africa and certain opportunities you can take and how you can take it with low risk, with low investment. We are start in a minute, you please are just waiting for <clears throat> well, welcome to everyone. I'm really, really happy to be with you in this uh, first live session we will have uh, in the African Gold Grower Academy. This is a new program we are um, launching today about give free classes to help the community, to help to African gold growers, to help to young entrepreneurs in Africa, to start strategic business on the field, on Africa, with very low risk, with very low investment. So today we will talk about, about it, how to do it, uh, which ones are the secrets or which one are the real specific things, key uh, things we, we should be aware to start a strategic business successfully in Africa with low risk, with low investment. Now, uh, well, first, let me tell you, welcome to African Gold Grower Academy. This place is where you are. Uh, if you are watching us in our social media or if you are watching us in um, the website, in africangoldgrowersacademy.com, well, let me tell you, welcome. This place is created, designed, thinking, uh, in you okay this is something really important to understand because our mission and our vision as um, enterprise as company is to help the major quantity of people the major quantity of entrepreneurs in africa help them with knowledge to start strategic business in africa so they can improve the situation in the continent we really believe Africa is the present and we really believe Africa is also the future. But not only for the continent. We are not thinking only in the 57 countries inside of the continent. We are thinking the entrepreneurial uh, young people, the entrepreneurship uh, community in Africa, the young minds in Africa, the ideas, the resources, the new companies that we uh, born in Africa, and that are boarding are actually right now in Africa will bring solutions for all the humanity, for all the world, for the five continents. Okay. When we say Africa is the future, we really believe it's the future for the humanity. Okay. And we are going to talk about it. Now, let me tell. Uh,
we have a little um, problem now. Just let let me. Let me ready. Okay, we can start right now. Now, let me explain you uh, shortly who I am and why I'm speaking to you uh, about how to start strategic business in Africa. Okay, my name is Haile Jesus. I'm the CEO and founder of African Gold Rover Academy. I'm an agroecological engineer uh, and I'm an African son. Okay, I born in Mexico and from my mother's side, I'm Ethiopian and from my father's side, I'm Mexican. Now, I grew up in both places. I grew up in both cultures. I, both, I grew up in both contexts, in context uh, of certain instability with certain social problems, science, political problems, economical problems, you know, uh, even technical programs uh, about health, uh, education, etc., etc., different challenges. I live it and I watch it by myself in both countries at the same time. And I understood the regions from Latin America here in Mexico and the whole continent in Africa actually have a lot of similarities and at the same time have the, uh, the same challenges. Okay, so when I grew up, I said, how we can change the narrative, how we can change the things in Africa and in Latin America at the same time. Because if we have the same uh, challenges, it means we can find the same solutions at the same time. And that's what, how I understood the first uh, import, really important thing in my life that it's one of the, the challenge, one of the ways to solve these challenges in Latin America or in Africa is matching or putting together the knowledge, the scientific knowledge that it's uh, making on the, on the universities, on the laboratories, uh, you know, from the researcher scientific community with the people, okay? When we can match, uh, you know, the technical knowledge, the scientific knowledge that is making uh, from the scientists in, in the universities, in the laboratories, with the people that are you need to use this knowledge in the real life in daily life we can improve the uh, situation of or of our societies okay so i say well which industry or which sector need more attention okay and i discovered it was from one side actually the agriculture it's fundamental to support the agriculture and in the other way, in the other hand, is the environment. Okay, so I decided to study agroecological engineer with the mission to put together the technical and the scientific knowledge from the universities together with the environment needs and knowledge at the same time with the anthropological. It means with the people. Okay, we hope we can connect all these and knowledge okay all these needs all these solutions in in real uh, solutions now with the time i discover um, also the most vulnerable zones or the most uh, challenging zones are the arid and semi-arid zones in the world it means the sahel for example in in africa we have the north of america in, in mexico for example in certain areas of brazil also and chile and uh, peru they are very arid zones that need a lot of attention. So I started studying uh, different innovative uh, irrigation systems and I won an international award in 2017. And this is a picture the university took me when I won the, um, when I won the award. Now, the, Then after it, I started studying uh, hydroponics, mushrooms, alternative crops to help the people to, to do really interesting things and really powerful um, things in, in their lands, in their farms, in the special for the Arizons and the very vulnerable areas in Africa and in Latin America. So in that process, I understood something and I understood because I lived it by myself. In 2014, 
my family and me started a craft brewery. It was uh, our first entrepreneurship, you know, like a big entrepreneurship project. And we started a craft brewery here in Mexico. We were very enthusiastic uh, at that time because we were the third uh, craft um, brewery factory in our city. It was an industry that was uh, just starting, just launching with a lot of space, with a lot of a good perspective from the expert in, in the economics, in the, in, in the industry. A lot of people told us, you know, this industry is really growing. It, it will change a lot of things and it's a very strategic industry. So uh, we started a craft brewery, but we found a challenge, you know, we tried, we tried, we tried to sell the product and we didn't find and we didn't find how to sell correctly in the market. Okay, we spent a lot of money, we spent a lot of time, we spent a lot of effort trying to find our uh, the right way to sell our product. We tried to sell on restaurants, we tried to sell on hotels, we tried to sell on bars, we tried to sell on live events, you know, like concerts, reggae music concerts, you know, classical music concerts. Uh, different different kind of events we went to expos we went uh, with uh, retail you know markets we try we try and we didn't found how to sell the product correctly and at the end we we identify that the 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 real thing the the, the real solution for it it will be have our own point of sale it means have a specific point where we are going to sell our product. So that's how we uh, started the restaurant Quebere. And I'm really proud to say we are, we have the most important or the best restaurant in our city. You can check uh, in our social media or in the website as quebere.mx. And well, in that process, I learned a lot. And from, from 2015 to now, I'm still studying, you know, the, the entrepreneurship life is also you know a study in life and you never end of study and you never learn, uh, end of learning new things so in that process i specialized in many things and especially in digital marketing personal development digitalization and entrepreneurship in development and emerging markets it means african especially you know so in 2019 i decided to start this new project called african gold growers academy african gold growers academy it's a place uh, where you are actually right now and it's a place designed to teach you all these elements all these um, models you can use to start a strategic business in africa with low risk with low investment it means you don't have you know to pass to all these uh, difficult process i i did because you can do it faster because you can do it with less risk and because you can do it uh, with less investment at the same time now to explain you uh, which is the model we use which is the model we we teach actually to start strategic business uh, with low risk with low investment we need to understand first where we are right now as humanity where we are right now as africa and where we go okay this is crucial to understand okay so let's start where we are right now. We are right now living in a very complex uh, world. Um, I have more than one year speaking about it, but you know, in 2020, we'll make really clear to everyone. We are living in what the scientists and the, you know, the sociologists call a VUCA world, okay? VUCA, it's an acronym in English that means volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. Okay, this acronym born after the, war, the Second World War, the US Army, the, the American Army used it to understand how is the field where they are, were fighting on. It means when they arrive to a new enemy field to fight, they ask themselves, we are in a volatility place, we are in an uncertain place, we are in a complex uh, place, or we are in ambiguity place, okay? So uh, with the years after the, the end of the Cold War, and especially 
when the internet arrived in our societies, the thing is the scientists, the sociologists, and especially the Russians tell, say to you to, to the world, we are close and more uh, and closer to a VUCA war. It means we are going to live in the four statements at the same time. Many people didn't understand at that time because we were we are talking about the 90s, early 2000s. But right now, with the communications that we have and with the situation we live in, and we are living right now in all the world after 2020, everyone understood what means a VUCA war, okay? A VUCA war means we are living the four statements at the same time. Volatility, certain things happen suddenly so rapidly so so rapid so so fast uncertainty after these things start happening nobody understand what will happen next okay we don't have enough information we don't have enough knowledge about this new situation okay nobody uh, watch it uh, come so i have a lot of challenges to face complexity if you take one decision because it's, it's, it's something happened so fast and, and it's something happened and we don't have enough knowledge. When you take one decision, you will affect at the same time three statements. You will affect in a very bad, uh, you will have very bad results by one side, but in another context, you will have a very good results. And in another context, you will have mixed results. Okay, so it's really complex to take any decision. And ambiguity it means it's not clear when ends both something and when start the next situation it's not clear when a good a, a, it's a good decision or it's a bad decision it's not clear you know where are the borders between situations okay so that's what means a VUCA war now we have another situation also and is the 20 years paradigm the historians and the anthropologists and the, you know, actually even the, the investors uh, understood many years ago that the humanity faced a new paradigm every 20 years. Okay. Every 20 years, the human something happens in the history that the humanity changed forever. Okay. Something happens suddenly, sometimes it's a small change, sometimes it's a small advance in the science or in the society, but it's like uh, the butterfly effect, you know, it will have really dramatic change in the future years and the humanity will not be the same again. And well, 2020 is the perfect example, okay? You know, this bug arrived to our lives suddenly and changed forever the way how we work the way how we invest the way how we planify the way how we watch the life the way how we keep our money the, the way how we do democratic you know change all the humanity okay because one the simple thing now the thing is 2020 was not a deception we live this situation uh, you know what i'm talking about and another things start happening you know now, once uh, you understand we are living this uh, 20 years paradigm, let me tell you something. The effect, the, the most um, powerful or the most strong effects uh, of the starting of this new paradigm will be the next five years. Okay, then the humanity will be more um, customer. Yeah, will be more adapted to this new paradigm, and then we need to wait to the next 20 years paradigm. Now, the reality that we are living right now is the VUCA war that will not end and the 20 years paradigm that is something that came to still in our lives forever, okay? Now, the next question and the real important question, where is the next stop, where we are going, okay? All the organizations, United Nations, the governments like the, the European Union, like the United States, like the um, uh, economic, the World Economic Forum, the uh, World Bank, for example, 
are very aware and are very afraid about the challenges that we will face in 2050. Okay? So they are talking and talking and talking all the time about the actions we have to take right now, today, today, literally today, to stop the bad effects, the bad results that we can have in 2050. We'll tell you some uh, details. For example, these are real data from the World Bank. It's expected, where well, before 2020, we're expected that 2050 will be more than 9 billion people. Okay, after 2020, the narrative changed a little bit and the, and the World Bank say it will be more than 10 billion people. Okay, it means overpopulation. More people that will need the double of food, okay, to feed all these people. And it, if we need the double of food, it means we need more land, okay? But at the same time, we have the global, we have the global warming, we have the climate change. So we need to be very aware of it and we need to be very careful of it, okay? So the next, after the overpopulation, we have the next challenge that is uh, against the climate change, okay? It's something urgent to take action on. The next one will be the food sovereignty, how we can produce more food with less space in more sustainable way. And then obviously the water. The water is a resource that more and more is really obvious that we don't have enough drinkable water and we are polluting more and more water on the seas. You know, so it's, it's a topic, it's something, it's a deal, okay? The next one will be the energy. We cannot still producing energy using uh, fossil fuels, okay? And the last ones uh, are not so much um, understanding, but it's really important to be aware of, is first the market, because the market, it means the people who will move the economy, okay? The people who will create new business and the people who will, create, uh, will buy um, products and services from this business, okay? We need to move the economy, but how to do it in a sustainable way and how to do it when the richest countries in the world, to 2050, will be uh, a very old population, will be a very short population also. The majority of the population will be concentrated in developed countries or what used to be developed countries. Now, the last one, and it's really critical, is the human talent. Okay, as I told you, United States, certain areas of Asia, like China, um, Europe, okay, will face a big problem in the future because their population will be very old in the majority, the 2050, and they will have not the capacity to produce, uh, you know, human talent, you know, produce new technologies, to produce new solutions uh, to, the, to the world. But... There is where the African, um, the African opportunities are. Which is the role of Africa, not only uh, now, but to the future, okay? And especially to the future. And this is something I really, really want to share with you. Okay, let me ex uh, explain you certain data also from the World Bank. 60% of the arable land in the world is in Africa. 60% of the arable land of the world is in Africa. It means Africa will be the farm of the world. If a country wants food, need right now, turn her face, turn her, uh, his eyes to watch Africa. Something uh, that <clears throat> revealed this real situation was 2020. <clears throat> when the war um, was stopped, totally stopped because of the lockdown in 2020, <clears throat> where do you think come all the fresh vegetables and all the fresh fruit uh, in Europe? In 2020, more than 80% came from Africa. Okay, even here in Mexico, we received fresh fruits from Africa in, during the lockdown. Uh, 
many grains came from Africa, Asia, uh, the Arab countries, okay? All these people received a lot of food, a lot of fresh food in 2020 from Africa because Africa is producing real good quality uh, vegetables, real good quality uh, fruits, but have a lot of land, okay? Have a lot of potential. Now, 80% of the drinking water is still now in Africa. This is something really important to understand. Okay, there are some uh, companies that are exporting our water right now to Europe, to countries like Holland or the United Kingdom. 60% of the jungles, forests, and savannas are in Africa. It means the lengths of the war, okay? The real warriors against the climate change are in Africa. The world's fastest growing economies in the world are in Africa. Okay? It's expected that the fastest growing and the biggest economies um, in the world to 2050 will be in Africa. We're talking about countries like Nigeria, Kenya, Rwanda, Ethiopia, South Africa, Botswana, countries like them, and if many other countries align to this new change and to this new narrative, probably the whole continent will be a super powerful um, zone, you know, a very, very important zone. And I really believe it will be. 77% per, of the population is young, okay? 77% of the population in Africa is young. It means 2050 will still be a very young population. So, at the same time, it means creative people, okay? The human talent, the new areas, the new technologies, the new solutions, the new industries, the new, um, yeah, the new solutions for the world will come from Africa. To 2050, it will be, it's expected to have uh, in Africa a population over 2 billion people. It means the market of the world will be Africa. Okay, all the countries, all the biggest economies, all the biggest companies will turn to watch Africa because they need customers. Okay, so where are the major quantity of population? Because Africa will have more population than Asia. Okay, this is something amazing. We are watching the, the African miracle. So <clears throat> the next question is, we have right now two ways. And you have to choose your, your, your way. I chose it, mine. Now I invite you to choose your your path, your way. By one hand, we have the possibility to by one hand we have we have the possibility. Well, we can let to others to take the opportunities in Africa. Okay. It means let to other governments, let to other companies, let to other people, let to other to foreign companies even or to foreign investors to take the opportunities in Africa. Or from the other hand, and I really believe you are in this sector, in this population, in this tribe that I like to call, you can take and create the opportunities in Africa. In your personal destiny, you know, opportunities to you, to yourself, to your personal development, and contribute to the growth of Africa. Contribute to the growth of your family, to grow of your friends, to grow uh, the growth of your society, of your country, of your region. Okay, you can create new opportunities. Take the opportunities that they are the, they are ready, or create new opportunities. And I really, really, really believe. You will take take the second way. Now the the thing the third thing is because the data we present you here, we really believe it's urgent and it's really critical to start in Africa a strategic business. And we really believe the agriculture, the food and beverage industry are the most important industries in to develop in Africa because actually are the fastest industries growing right now in the continent. 
Now, why? Because we have a lot of water, we have a lot of land, but we need to use correctly and to develop the technology, to develop the techniques and to develop this industry in a very sustainable way, we need to bring a lot of solutions. It means not only a star farm is an agribusiness, okay? If you start a technological uh, company or a software company to solve certain situation or certain challenge in this industry, you are in the agribusiness industry, okay? So we believe that great industries around, you know, um, agriculture, our own food and beverage is something really sustainable. It's a renewable, renewable um, resource. You can create more and more and more using the same land, the same uh, things you have around you. Now, the big question, well, Haile, but how to start in Africa with no money? Being an entrepreneur in any country represents many challenges, okay? I will not lie to you. I will not tell you, be an entrepreneur, super easy. No, that's no me. What I will tell you is entrepreneurship is a path only for uh, brave people. It's a path only for the people who really want to change the things. The entrepreneurship is a path, it's a way that only the passionate people will take. The people who really enjoy from the life. The people who really enjoy to help another people and to change the reality. And when they, when somebody comes to you and tells you it's not possible, you say it's possible. I don't know how to solve this problem, but I know it's possible. And you go outside to search solutions. This is this is an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur in any country rep uh, represents many challenges. But in an emerging market, um, actually you have more challenges also. Therefore, we must to be able to start with minimal risk and with minimal investment. That's why it's so crucial to start with minimal risk and with minimal investment so we can grow our area. There is a quote from a, an African entrepreneur that I really love this, this quote. And he said, to start in Africa, you need to start small, but dreaming big. Okay. To start in Africa, you have to start small but dreaming big. Okay. Start small is not bad. It's actually correct. Now, how to do it? How to start with minimal risk? Let's start from, from this part. To start with minimal risk means that you accept more risk as you have more knowledge. Or what is the same? You put more money in your company, you invest more in your company. At the time you have more information okay at the beginning you have a lot of uncertainty you don't understand your market you don't under, understand if the product will be accepted in, in the market etc etc so if you don't have so much information you don't have to put a lot of money in your business okay you need to put a little bit after you put a little bit and you learn you have more information you say, okay, now in this and this and this, I understand what will happen next. So I put a little bit more and you receive more information, you have more knowledge. Uh, this will work, this will not work. Um, I thought this is the right market. I thought this is the bad market, but the situation changed. You know, you have more information, you have more knowledge and you inverse more. It means when you have more information, you understand what will happen. You have more um, understanding of, of your business and you can put more money. Okay. So you take down the risks. Now, in my path as entrepreneur, I designed a model that I, it's the model that we teach and is the model that I use in my companies and is the model that actually Allow, allow us to survive during the lockdown in 2020. And it's the Majan business model. The Majan business model allow us to start any area, to taste any area really fast with minimal risk, with minimal investment, but in a special 
uh, understand exactly what we are doing. Okay, mix different models. You know, the African business model, mix the canvas model, mix the lean startup model. You know, the one page marketing plan model. Mix different models, but to put together in a very simple way to understand, and it's applicable. Okay, it's is the is the model that we teach to our students. Let me explain you really fast how does it works. First, why Majan business model? The Majan culture is a very ancient culture here in Mexico and in Central America that I really admire them because they were warriors and they were very independent against the Spanish conquistadors in the 15th and 16th century. Now, they, ha they were very, very smart guys. They have a lot of uh, scientists this, uh, advances, you know, um, astronomical advances, mathematical advances, agricultural advances. You know, they have a lot of technologies. They, they were a very amazing um, guys, but they used a script um, model and their script model is, you know, you have a glyph that is a squirrel and inside of this squirrel you have different elements. Each element helps you to build a phrase, okay? So, it's a little bit similar than, for example, the, um, the Chinese or the Japanese scripture style. But in this model, well, you have an, a glyph, you know, with different symbols inside, and these symbols help you to build a phrase. Now, the Imagine Business model pretends to do the same. We have first the area. Uh, then we have that this is a squirrel. Okay, let me put my. Okay. Okay, first you have the squirrel. Okay, then the squirrel means the area. Okay, this is really important to understand. The squirrel means the area. Then we have the circle, the first circle. Uh, we have the, the, the first circle. And the first circle means the market, okay? To who we are, well, okay, the area is the product and the service, okay? Uh, it's a product that we are, uh, we are trying to sell in the market to solve certain needs. Then we have the market is the first circle who is the, or market who is these people which are they their needs okay how they speak how they think uh, which other needs they have so i can build new solutions for them okay you need to understand very well your market then we have the message the message is how we are going to sell this um we are going to sell this this product okay which is the message that we are going to use to explain to our market or area okay and finally the media which media we are going to use to explain our message to our market okay so it helps us to understand where we are and what we are uh, doing okay help us to have a real clear and simple vision about our our business now we need two elemental uh, pillars that will help us to do it with very low risk. By one side, we have the principal pillar that is the experimentation. Experimentation means how we can taste our area in the market, how we can learn more about our market, how we can taste if the message we are building or we are using is the right message to communicate our area with the market. Or we can taste um, if the media that we are using is the right media to explain to our market, okay? So you make little experiments, okay? Sometimes I will explain you some, some examples, but little experiments that will give you a lot of information really fast and will cost you very few quantity of money. Now, the second pillar, and this is really um, important, is the innovation. If we really want to stand up in a market, in an emerging market, we need to be different um, against everyone, 
okay we need to be totally different in the market we need to have what the ex um, experts call a blue ocean it means it's a, a very big space without competence how to do it learning how to position yourself okay which one will be the techniques uh, the unique techniques to sell your product which one will be the unique techniques uh, to explain your message to your market which one will be the unique market you will attend okay what makes different what makes unique to your product okay now all this situation must be tasted okay because this is the real uh, secret to be successful in, in the in the major business model okay because you put more effort you put more money at the time you have more knowledge about what are you doing now let me tell you two examples or well, actually three examples really fast the example number one is something we did actually in 2020 in our company to survive to the lockdown okay during the lockdown um here in mexico we were not allowed to work because we sell alcohol you know beer craft beer and the restaurants were not allowed to work you know by a period of one month you even cannot deliver food because nobody understood this, this virus will be transmittable in, in the food and you know there were many 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 factors that we didn't understood so the government said restaurants cannot work only only can work the essential industries the essential industries were if you sell uh, food if you sell uh, you know for example any basic stuff like sugar fresh vegetables frozen vegetables you know if you sell pasta or processed food etc etc so what we did transform our products or raw products in edible products uh, you know in basic products talking with our market talking with our customers we discover that you remember first the, the first circle okay we are on, on the market talking with our customers we discover they were uh, doing home office okay everyone uh, in my city were doing home office working from the computer and at the same time attending the children that they uh, were doing uh, home school you know and the lifestyle changed a lot and the thing is because the life changed a lot well, they, um, they need to adapt. They didn't have time to go outside to the supermarket. Even the supermarket closed really early. That means the supermarket closed here at 6 p.m. And they didn't have time uh, after the work, go running to the supermarket and buy stuff. You know, they didn't have time to, so they didn't have so much time to cook something to the children and to themselves so the life changed a lot and they need fast solutions to solve this need so the first thing we'd say well why don't sell frozen vegetables we take the same ingredients that we use in the restaurant we put uh, we pre-cook it we cut we pre-cook it and we frozen but in a bag uh, without air it means in the high vacuum okay we take out all the air okay no air in the back so the vegetables will preserve fresh with the same flavor for a long time okay you can buy today and you can use in, in one month two months and you will still feeling the fresh of the fruit or the or the vegetables so i called to a friend and he have um, a machine for high vacuum and say hey man please you know share with me a few days let me do some some tastes some experiments and i will give you back yes I, you can use it okay so he shared with me his machine and then we bought and here's the here's the thing okay to taste our area to make an experiment we bought one kilogram of carrot one kilogram of, of conking and one kilogram of um broccoli which it, it was the other one and cabbage i think but i remember carrot broccoli and, and pumpkin okay we we cut it we pre cook it and we put in bags in the high vacuum and we call to our customers and say hey we have a perfect solution for you uh, fresh um, 
pre-cooked vegetables frozen in the high vacuum. So you can take out, put on the microwave and cook something really fast. Okay, so we understand the needs of our markets, uh, circle number two. We create an area, you know, the squatter. Then we create a message and we start making experiments with very few money. Okay, just one kilogram of carrot, one kilogram of pumpkin and one kilogram of um, broccoli. Okay, now, which is the media we use it? Directly communication. Okay, we have a Facebook fan page, so we post, we make a post in our Facebook one fan page, we call to our customers, we send emails to our customers, we send uh, Telegram messages to our customers. And the innovation we did is because other people sell frozen vegetables, but nobody is selling pre-cooked vegetables frozen in the high vacuum. And this is really important because when you sell uh, frozen vegetables if you don't put in a high vacuum uh, after a few weeks or few days the taste is really bad okay you the taste of the the vegetables tastes really like water like old you know it's not good so the people accept it very well okay the people accept it very well they call us for more um, vegetables and we and then they tell us we need uh, snacks like these ones frozen delicious healthy in high vacuum and then we innovate with frozen pizzas okay the same market give us an area we made five pizzas we put in high vacuum we tasted and the market accepted and we learn a lot okay so we are learning for example the chicken pizza is preferred than the the pepperoni pizza for example or the cheese pizza Okay. We understand many things from our market but very fast with very few quantity of money. And that's how we survived during the lockdown here in, in my city. So it's something you can start uh, really fast, really easy. Now, let me explain you in the next one. How to start a farm. And this example is to, to show you, you can uh, start any business with this uh, business with this imagine business model <clears throat> you have a piece of land you want to start a farm uh, but you don't know what kind of vegetables to grow um, and you need you know certain quantity of money so the first thing you need to understand is how much money do you have to earn every month or every season to make successful your farm now you once you understand the quantity of money you need we, uh, you have to understand your market. Which ones are the needs of your market? Go directly, for example, with the supermarket owners, go directly with, especially with chefs of restaurants, hotels, uh, bars, and talk with them. They have special needs, and especially in Africa, they are searching by fresh product of high quality. They are really searching for it. So talk with them, they will tell you maybe they need microgreens or they need, um, for example, to say to say something, mushrooms. Okay, they need gray and white mushrooms or pink and, and gray mushrooms. You have the first area. Okay, you you identify the hotels need microgreens and the restaurants need pink and gray mushrooms. Okay, go back and start farming these products. Okay, the difference will be you are making local produce and you can maybe work very close with the chefs of the restaurant and produce exotic varieties of microgreens and certain varieties of mushroom special for the restaurants this is a way how you you first you understand your market then you create an area which will be the message fresh and local products growing healthy for example which will, could be the media if you are going to work with restaurants uh, with the chefs of restaurants and hotels it's a B2B, okay? It's business to business. So you have, you need to have a very personal communication. So I suggest you go in person and talk with them. Your media communication will be really personal, okay? The most informal thing you can do, it's maybe a, a telephone call or an email. Try to do it personal and you will be really successful because these pe people don't have time. They need attention, okay? And they need to be sure you are understanding their needs. So make more personal. 
you make your experimentation. Maybe you grow three, three tries or three flats of micrograins and you try two buckets of mushrooms. And after it, you go with them and taste it again. Okay. If they like the product, if you can expand faster, you understand your product will be accepted. Okay. So you are innovating because you are trying with exotic microgreens and with different varieties of um, mushrooms that nobody is growing in the area. Okay. So it will make you different. Now, this is a very easy way. How much will take you? Grow microgreens needs 15 days. Grow mushrooms needs 30 days. Okay. That's the time you will need. Okay, instead using years and years and years. How much money you will use? As most as most 50 US dollars. I mean, maybe with $20 or maybe with $10, you can perfectly start your experiment of mushrooms and microgreens. Okay. The third example is uh, a separate risk. Uh, the third example is um, the company that is starting one of my students. It's plastic recycling. She's starting a plastic recycle um, company. So, well, she is starting to search in people who really want to share with the world. They are doing something to take care of the environment. So she's putting different places, uh, recollection places or recollection buckets, and you can change your plastic from uh, with other stuff she makes uh, with her machine. You know, she makes certain devices to recycle plastic and they, she make, you know, uh, woman's bag and she make uh, clocks and she make different stuff. She print my t-shirts, you know, the t-shirts I make from a recycled plastic. And it's really interesting because the message she's sharing with the world is, we know you are doing something to take care of the environment. Well, let, let us to help let us help you to share with the work okay so she's using the Majan business model you can apply it also and she is one of my most successful students and she is doing really really well now how to start with low investment and this is really important the imagine is not charging here but will let me see oh sorry well, here is a, an, a small diagram. I need to check it, but well, something that I found from the different entrepreneurs in Africa that are making really successful business is they have different perspective to watch the world. Now, always do it because they understand different the world. Uh, they have different mindsets. What is a mindset highlight? Okay, a mindset is a set of ideas that help us to do certain things in automatic. A mindset is we use, we have mindsets for everything. We use mindset for absolutely everything in our daily life. First, to, in a mindset, we have experiences in our life. These experiment, experiences transform in ideas. After these ideas, we put together, and when they, the ideas put together and align them in a route, they produce a mindset. It means a way to understand and to do the things in automatic. From now to the future. Now, we have mindsets to learn to speak, to learn, to study. We have mindsets to in our relationships. We have mindsets to learn to drive a car, to ride a bicycle. And well, entrepreneurship is not exception. We create mindsets around the entrepreneurship. Now, what I discover is the tribe of people that are making really, really, really successful business in Africa, but in a special strategic business in Africa and start from scratch is because they have a different mindset. They have different mindset and, and, and frameworks that help them to start with totally minimal risk, but in a special minimal investment. One of these mindsets is, for example, the creativity mindset. <clears throat> they have a totally different perspective about to understand the world. Where everyone watch a problem, they watch an opportunity. Where everyone watch, for example, um, trash or garbage, they want they watch you know materials they watch gold that's why i call to these people the african gold growers because they literally grow gold in africa they take some something really small and they transform in gold now 
The second one is the resilient mindset, okay? When they have challenge, when they have a problem, they don't call a problem, okay? They watch as an opportunity. They watch as a challenge, as you said that. They watch an opportunity to improve the things, to improve their lives, to improve their business, to improve their area, to improve the society, to improve Africa. They all were, They always watch the things like an opportunity to improve. And this is amazing. That's why they never give up. The, high, the helping mindset. The helping mindset is because they don't watch the market as a place to change, to, to earn money, okay? They watch the market, they watch the society as a place that needs solutions. <clears throat> so they are thinking, okay, I understand you have this and this and this and this problem. How can I solve these problems to you with a solution or with a product or with a service? Now, because they under, they want to help people, the people give them money. The people give them a lot of opportunities. The people uh, are very happy with their work. Now, because they have this helping mindset, they have also the scalability mindset. It means they find the best ways to scale the areas. Okay, how can I bring these solutions in the major quantity of people as possible? Okay, so they find the best ways to scale their business, to share the solution with the many quantity of people as possible. And well, they have another, uh, other 11 actually, um, more mindsets that they use constantly and I apply actually in my projects and I share with my students and help us to create amazing things to start with very, very low investment and with very, very low risks. Now, your next question, your most obvious next question will be where to start? And the answer is with self-education. Okay, don't misunderstand uh, me. The traditional education is really important, but the traditional education will never, never help you uh, to be an entrepreneur because the traditional education in the best of the cases is designed to help you to find a job. But uh, the entrepreneurship life and especially entrepreneurship life in an emerging market like it's Africa have a lot of challenges that a traditional education cannot teach you because you will live different, totally different um, experiences and you will have totally different needs that the needs I will have. But there are certain knowledge you can um, find in common. Now, the thing is, the self-education means when you have a problem, when you have a challenge, you search, you go outside to search a specific solution to this challenge. And then you have a new one and you go outside and search specific information about this new challenge. Now, that's the mission of African Gold Growers Academy. It's a place created to help as entrepreneurs because we understand the self-education is so important, so valuable. We have a lot of experience that we really want to share with you. Our mission is to empower young Africans with knowledge so they can develop a strategic projects in the region with low risk and with low investment and thus help to create the most important companies in the continent in the next 10 years. So the question is, where do you want to be? Because we want to help us the major quantity of entrepreneurs as possible to create the, the most important companies in Africa, no, because the revenue. We want, to create, we want to help to create the most important companies in Africa because their impact on the region. So where do you want to be? If you want to belong to this new tribe of African gold growers, well, let me tell you, we have different programs. First, we have free content and you are watching right now. You can watch our social media, YouTube channel, Facebook channel, Instagram channel. We have also online courses, okay? We are going to talk about it. And we have our special membership group, okay? It's a place where we teach the most advanced concepts and you have the guidance to start your project at the same time, and you have at the same time the support of the community. From me, from your teachers, and from your brothers and sisters that are, are already in the entrepreneurship life. Now, let me explain to you shortly. Again, this video is not charging, but I'm sorry. Uh, the first online course or most successful online course is the 15 audios of successful African entrepreneurial mindset. These are audios with the 15 frameworks I told you about the, Af the successful African entrepreneurial mindset. Okay, it means 
É... The, the special mindset that we use, that the African gold growers use, to start with very low risk and with, and especially with very low investment. Okay, they will help you to understand the entrepreneurial world. Now, this course is valued on ninety-seven US dollars. Okay, or students receive a lot of information, a lot of value from this course. Access, you have access also to the community of African Gold Growers Academy, valued on 50 US dollars. The advanced lessons, you will have access to advanced lessons that are meetings in life, that the meeting we have right now, where we are going to have interviews, we are going to speak about uh, successful real cases, we are going to speak, uh, explain uh, very, very important uh, concepts about entrepreneurship in life in, in Africa. The advanced lessons are valued on 97 US dollars. You have also access to my personal email and all this package is valued on 244 US dollars. But as I told you, our mission is to help the major quantity of people in, in Africa as possible. So the, the value, the, the normal price on the academy is 29 US dollars. But you have a special offer today of 15 US dollars. Okay. 15 US dollars because you are watching this uh, this webinar. Now, we have another program. This is the master program that I really, really love. And our six months of the week uh, with a weekly meetings to explain each elements of the Majan business model. Okay. During six months, we are going to explain to you each element of the Majan business model and also you, the meetings will be recorded, so you can replace as many times you want. Uh, if you cannot join us in a specific meeting, you can watch the repetition later. But the most important thing is you have a guidance to start to design and to start your project. So because it's our live sessions, our live meetings like this one, you can uh, ask us specific questions and we can help you and we can guide you. Okay, It's like a mentor. Uh, and you will not feel alone. And you can learn from your brothers and sisters because they have other situations, they have other experiences, and you can learn from the feedback we give to them also. Now, you will have access also to the advanced lessons valued on 97 US dollars, a commitment during the process of starting your business during three months, and I will explain you how is the process. And this is valued over 300 US dollars. You will have support material in PDF, 97 US dollars. Now, you will have access also to the most committed African Gold Growers Academy community. Okay? A very personal network area. And you all know that networking is something really crucial in Africa. So you will have access to this community valued on 97 US dollars. The total valuation of this program is 80, 891 US dollars. But again, we want to impact as many people as possible. So our special offer today is 150 US dollars. But even we break monthly payments of 25 US dollars per month. Okay, during six months, you only pay 25 US dollars. All our programs have 30 days of warranty. If you buy the product and if you don't feel comfortable, you say, you know, it's, it is not what I expected. Don't worry. You only send us an email um, in each of these products. You send us an email and uh, we give you back your money. It's totally, totally secure your purchase. Now, then we decided to have a special offer today that is put together the both uh, programs, okay? The Successful Entrepreneurial uh, Mindset Audios program plus the Majan Business Model uh, Expert program, both together by this, the price of one. You only pay 25 US dollars per month and you will have access to both uh, courses, to both programs. It's an, a special offer that we are launching right now and it will be for a limited time. So I invite you to uh, take this amazing offer. Okay. Now let me explain you fastly how to, how we are going to work. Month one, you I suggest you to start listening the audios of African the successful African mindset entrepreneurial mindset audios. You can download to yourself and you can listen as many times you want. You can share it. You can 
and listen when you are walking to your work, when you are uh, making exercise before sleep, uh, when you wake up, etc., etc. And you can take all this information. And I suggest you start with it so you have um, a good base to understand the concepts we are going to talk about. In the first month of the Imagine Business Model, we are going to speak about the area, how to identify an area, uh, how to build an area, how to um, think, to, how to create an area, etc., etc., how to create a product, how to create a uh, service. Now, in month two, we are going to start talking about the market and the measures, the two, the two th circles in the, in, the, in the model. We are going to understand which is our market, how to identify it, how to understand it, how to understand which are other products we can sell to them or we can create for them, the message, how we can create a, pro, uh, a message, different kinds of message, when to use each message, how to build a message. We are going to start working on your message. Actually, we are going to make exercises. And then we have the month three. We are going to talk about the media and the experimentation. A different kind of media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, personal, you know, email marketing, etc., etc., and how to make experiments. We are going to talk so much about how to make experiments. The, it, it is a very, very interesting session, okay? We are going to talk a lot about different experiments areas. Then we have the innovation. In the innovation, we are going to speak the ways how you can make your blue ocean how you can position yourself uh, as a company, how you can position your area, position your market, how you can position inside of a niche in the, in the market, how you can to, uh, position in the media also, because it's not the same, you know, to be in a media that learn how to position yourself in the media. Okay, and we are going to start planning your project. Okay, probably it's not the, the project we are launching forever. I mean, I want you to understand this is a, a session you can learn a lot of things and nothing is right on stone so you can change later but it's really important you understand the process because you are not going to launch you know uh, 10 thousand us dollar company no no the area here is you can start with minimal investment that's the area so you are going to start uh, planning your project and start planning your experiments with minimal investment. Okay, May maybe so probably you will not need any kind of quantity of money to start your project. Okay, that's the idea. So in month five and month six, you will start your experiments, and every week we will have meeting to talk about your specific doubts. Okay, you will have questions, you will have certain circumstances that you, you have uh, new questions about how to do that, how to solve that, now what I have to do, etc., etc. The meetings in month five and month six will be to solve all your doubts and learn from your brothers and sisters. So um, that's how we are going to work. Now, your special offer, remember again, the Successful African Entrepreneurial Mindset Audios plus the Imagine Business Model Expert Program will be 150 US dollars or what is the same, 25 US dollars per month. You have 30 days of guarantee. And let me tell you, I'm really, really, really excited to start talking, to start working with you. And I really, uh, I'm really excited to to know more about your areas how you can how you want to contribute in africa now let me write your questions it's time if uh, if you want to make any question let us in the chat box please tell us what uh, question do you have Okay, somebody's asking if the model only works on um, on agriculture or can be applied to any any project. Well, the the, the real answer is <coughs> you can apply in any project. As I told you, you can use it in a farm, you can use it in a restaurant, you can use it in a recycling plastic um, company, <clears throat> you can use it 
in any kind of area. We focus directly on agribusiness, food and beverage because it's the area, it's the industries that I have more experience. Uh, but you can apply it in any, any industry. Our mission is to help to build strategic business in Africa. <coughs> Somebody is asking if you have, if you need to have a clear vision about what you want to do, of what kind of area you want to do. No, <coughs> probably you don't have already an area you will build in the, in the program. It's it's better to don't have a specific idea. <clears throat> well, I'm really, really happy to be with you in this meeting. If you don't have many questions, uh, here down in the bottom, you can subscribe to our program and you um, you can download also the infographic of the Magian business model and you can start reading and analyzing how the, the model works. Uh, also, well, you can check more material, free material in our social media and especially on the YouTube channel. We have many, many different videos. Again, my name is Haile Jesus. I'm really happy to be with you in this live session. And well, remember, we grow gold in Africa. Bye-bye.